Hey, hey guys, how you doing? Haven't seen you in a while. Uh, rubbing alcohol. Yeah, if you hadn't noticed, we're working bees today. What I want to do is uh, check for varroa mites. We're gonna do a little shake test here. So we're gonna put a little. Uh, rubbing alcohol in my jar I don't know about that much okay that's what I got I got this little jar on standby here right so it's over here then I made up this little deal here And all this is, is a piece of eighth inch wire that I cut. You just set it down on a, on a top. And you take a magic marker and cut it out with scissors. And then you go to your bench grinder and take two of these rings. Right, this is the wide mouth. Take two of these rings and go up to your grinder wheel and just rough up both mating surfaces. Then take JB Weld. Then you're going to take JB Weld and put them together with JB Weld. Let them set overnight, and then you got it. Okay. Now I've got that. Now I've got that trapped in there. See, I've got that screen trapped in there. All right. Now here's the here's the plan. We're going to take. We're going to open a hive. We're going to look in there. And uh, I'm going to try to go ahead and make up a nuke today, too, to haul just one nuke. Uh, I'm only down to four colonies right now. And uh, the bloom is going on really good. Matter of fact, well, let me get back to this. Show what I've got this little tub here. You can use a shoe box. You can use one of those kitty litter pans. But what you want, the goal here is try to dump a cup of bees into that jar with that alcohol. You're going to kill them. And then we're going to put the, that jar on. I'm going to shake that jar up real good. We're going to dislodge all the mites, Barola mites, into that liquid. Then I'm going to put this jar, this other jar here, with a screen on top. Screw it down. Take that lid off. Put this on. And we're going to, after I shake that up, then I'm going to take and put that on the top. And I'm going to swirl it. As it's coming down through this screen, I'm going to swirl it. That'll get all them varolas off. The bees will be up in the top jar. All the liquid and varolas are going to be down here. Then we can go out in the sunlight. We can hold it up and see how many we got. And if out of this colony, in this little shake with this one cup, if you got four or five varolas, you best be, or more, you better be treating. Even if you see one or two, you better be treating. So, yeah. Getting the old smoker going here. Got her loaded up heavy. These bees are ugly. That's okay. That's all I've been having to work with here for the last couple years, and uh, I don't mind it. Matter of fact, these tougher ones seem to be taking out the Varola, and this is all the guys in South America have to work with. This is it. You could go down there with the nicest Italian queen bees and load your hives up. Next thing you know, they're as mean as these. So, anyway, take you over here a minute. Just about done. This thing has been blooming. Yesterday I came out here and this tree, you can see all the blooms are falling off, this orange tree. You can see the bees in there working. There's one up in there. This whole tree was humming yesterday. I mean, really humming. Yep. You can see the little oranges in there. 
you talk about a wonderful fragrance when that back in the day when I was hitting the orange groves east of me over here on the ridge on 39 it was mostly grapefruit the farms that I were hitting and uh, oh man the fragrance you, you step out of the truck and it just hits you but there's a lot of bloom here yet one many oranges on this tree this year here's some left here but these have gone through a, a freeze I haven't pulled them out but uh, yeah it's a wild tree this is wild stock and you would think this thing would be this is not grafted this just came up on its own wild I used to have a hog pen out here I was throwing all kind of stuff in and apparently uh, the hogs pooped out a uh, orange tree seed and, and there it is there's your that's what happens when you hogs eat your oranges you get a tree now over here are two more wild trees but they don't have blooms yet maybe next year yeah I thought I'd show you that I got a ton of oranges off this thing last year this year not so many and I'm not really carving up with the uh, orange juice. I did a lot of juicing, but I don't do much juicing anymore. If you're going to eat an orange, you best be eating the whole thing, pulp and all. So, anyway. That's that. Alright, I'm going to get this camera on. And, uh, we'll get rock and rolling here. Check these bees, see what kind of roll of mite situation we got. be long guys we'll be sweating our hiking off welcome to Florida guys all right let's get into her I put feeders on these guys yesterday and they still got a little liquid here I put essential oils in here you've seen me make that up before essential oils yeah you guys have seen that movie before trap here what's in this thing just very few beetles very few that's good I'll tell you what these aggressive hives they seem to just take care of it I don't even see a beetle in here normally you pop the lid you got beetles running everywhere Maybe later on as the season goes, we'll have plenty, but. And I'm seeing drones now. I was, guys, going to kill all these queens, but I'm not going to. I told you before I was going to kill all these queens in these hives and let them raise new ones, but I'm not doing that. I'm going to let nature do its own thing. And, uh, yeah. We may have a little burr comb issue like I do right here on this one. This one, and you get this a little bit with these type of frames that I've got. You get a little of this, but it's not that big a deal. Uh, I just knock them out and let them re redo that. They'll fill that back in. Just kind of push it over, okay? This 
girl's laying like crazy. She's laying good. This thing's loaded with eggs. It's a good queen here. A lot of drones. So you got drones here. Guess what? Time to breed. It's time to breed bees, guys. Looks like there's more bees on this frame over here. Maybe we'll grab this one, make sure she's not on it. And do the shake deal. A lot of bees on this one. Whoops, big gob of honey just fell out. Let's make sure she's not on this one. And that's all the further I need to go into this colony. We've got plenty of we got plenty of food in here. This queen is excellent in her laying capabilities. She is really slamming this thing full of eggs. And today, this colony is not ornery at all. So far, I mean, if I go clear down in this nest, they have to get cranked up, but. So far, so good. I don't see her here. Usually I'm pretty good and quick at getting them, you know, found. All right, I'm going to take the lid off of this. I'm going to set this thing down. I'm going to shake these bees in here. All right. Got these bees here, bump them down, and shake them in. Alright. Put my lid on here. This on here. I got about a cup of bees in there. That quick, guys. That quick. That's all I need on this colony. I can take this now. Get it back in here. Let them girls go back to work. Put this back in. Let them go to work. Now, if I decide, if I see, detect a, a, a buku amount of varola here, then, uh, then I'm gonna do the oxalic acid vaporizing, okay? Yeah, this colony's looking good. All right, let's shake them up, guys. Shake them up. You want to dislodge. You want to dislodge them varolas. say to yourself man that's a waste of bees yeah it is but in the springtime the way this queen's cranking out <coughs> you are not you're not out nothing with these bees All right, that's a pretty good shake. That should have dislodged them. Put this lid on here like so. Snug this up. And we're gonna swirl it around. Just like so. Now let's go out here in the out here in the sunlight see if we can see a varola mite there they are fellas not good 
not good. See those little, see them little brown things in there? Barolamites. The little alien invaders. And I'll tell you what, just that one frame, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. You got about 15 Barolamites in this jar. Not good. I don't even need to check that other hive. I know I need to do some serious uh, oxalic acid vaporizing, so uh, I got to get to it. So I just thought I'd give you a quickie on what I'm doing, uh, checking them. And uh, yeah, a couple bees, 15, 20 Varolas on there.